So amendment number five, uh, permission to read. Permission granted. It is the intent of the legislature to extend the benefits of the United States Supreme Court Janus versus AFSME decision to all public employees in collective bargaining agreements equally in order to protect their constitutional rights. Right now, the state collects union dues, union fees, and in some cases, PAC money that is used in campaigning. I strongly support the freedom to associate and the freedom of speech. It's very treasured around the world. A very important decision on June 16, 2018, from the United States Supreme Court, Janus versus AFSME, found that forcing public employees to pay agency fees to unions violates the free speech rights of non-members by compelling them to subsidize private speech of matters of substantial concern. That was from the Janus decision. The court held that no longer, that public sector unions may no longer extract agency fees from non-consenting employees. There was an administrative order number 312 from our current governor. And it's very, very important. Basically what this states is that the waiver of employees' First Amendment rights cannot be presumed. And in order to be effective, basically that they have to legitimately be, have clear and compelling evidence. On August 27th of 2019, the Attorney General of the State of Alaska issued an opinion outlining the state duties and responsibilities of the Janus decision and protecting this decision to afford all employees. The opinion explained that Janus and the State of Alaska may no longer automatically deduct union dues and fees from employees' wages unless the employee firmly consents. The purpose of this amendment is to honor the intent of the Supreme Court. On September 26, 2019, just six weeks after the Administrative Order 312 was given, an injunction by Judge Greg Miller, and in full disclosure, he's married to uh, Nancy Meach, she's our liaison, I think that's important to get on the record, but the bottom line is it was an injunction. And there, the thing that there is not a, a non-trial hearing until March of 2021. So it, the decision was made with six weeks, but it's not being decided with a non-jury trial. That, that causes me pause. Also want to note that the security provision right now in our statute, employees that are hired by the state are supposed to report to union bosses. The union bosses are supposed to be telling employees of their rights, and I have reports that this is not happening. In this administrative order, one brief statement says, I understand that I have constitutional rights to refrain from paying union dues and fees. This has to happen. It's very important that they have clear and convincing evidence <coughs> that they are opting in to having union dues and fees paid out. The reason I put this, this forth is to ensure that the constitutional rights of our employees, our public employees, is protected. It also reduces liability to the state because we're collecting PAC money. It's, it's, we don't collect tithes and things like that from churches. I, have, I don't support collecting of all of these union dues without a specific opt-in. And I absolutely don't support the campaign PAC donations. I think it puts the state at liability. And therefore, I would strongly urge a yes vote to honor our Supreme Court, to protect the constitutional rights of our public employees, and to decrease liability for the state. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Reinbold. Is there further discussion? Senator Wilikowski. 